Ho, Brakate Ho Shai, Brakate Ho, Brakate Ho Shai, Bashamra Kakodash, Kalal Yaho Basham Yaho Shai, Bashamra Kakodash, the blindness to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who continually teach us in this truth. You know, salutations to brothers out there who are sincerely, you know, doing this work, who sincerely love the Lord, who sincerely seek after righteousness. Uh, this lesson is, um, is going to be based on. Um, it's sort of a response from this video that the Apostle El Arim Lab did recently, his name and his father's name, various topics. And uh, I say it's sort of a response because I'm actually not going to address the, um, the topic that he went into. But the fact that many of the scriptures that he went into and that a lot of other, all brothers go into, the apostles, the elders, you know, the majority of times, uh, you can say 90% of the times, you know, or even higher than 90% of the times, the scriptures that brothers bring out are scriptures that we already know as men who are exercised in this faith. However, the precepts keep being brought out as if we, um, we just discovered them or they keep getting repeated. And, you know, some people who are carnal might think, you know, why is this? Why is it that we keep repeating or going into certain scriptures that we have already gone into, right? And um, that's what I want to, you know, go into today. You know, this, this scripture, which Hebrews chapter 2, you know, pretty much jumped into my spirit, you know, and the um, spirit led me to, to look up a few words, you know, in this, in this passage, you know. Because we, we, we're laborers in this truth, yes. We, we, you come to learn certain breakdowns. Once you've been in this truth for a, a good amount of time, myself, I've been, um, you know, on the highways and the byways for, uh, let's see, this, today is 2019, so nine, ten years, right? Um, nine years on the highways and byways, more than nine years on the highways and byways, um, more than ten years, you know, um, listening to the apostles, you know. But you keep going back over things. You keep going back over the basics and the milk you know of the um of the scriptures right and and this is why you know this is what i want to bring out this is hebrews chapter 2 and i'll start at verse 1 therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard least at any time we should let them slip for example this is a milk scripture this is a scripture that many brothers already know right and are very familiar with and can quote word for word right we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have slipped which we have heard Salakia, at least at any time we should let them slip. So this is an admonition to constantly revisit, you know, the things that we have heard, the doctrine that we have heard. At least at any time we should let them slip. So let's um let's look up a few words here. The first one we're gonna look up is earnest. Right? And the word earnest is from the Greek. Strong's G, 4056. Perisateros. Perisateros. And it means more abundantly, more in a greater degree, more earnestly, more exceedingly, especially above others. Right? And if you go down further into the Strong's definition, it says exceedingly more frequent, much more the rather. Right? So the majority of your time should be given to the things which thou hast heard. That's exactly what it means, right? The majority of your time should be given to this doctrine, right? So that's it for earnest, right? Let's look up another word here, heed. And the word heed is from the Greek. Strong's G, 4337. Prasecho. Prasecho. And I'll start at the, um, the definition that pertains to our discussion to turn the mind to, to attend, to be attentive to a person or thing of caring for, providing for, to attend oneself, to attend to oneself, i.e. to give heed to oneself, give attendance to, attention to, take heed, to apply oneself or attach oneself, to hold or cleave to a person or thing. And here's the big part here, the dynamite, to be given or addicted to, right? And if you look up that word addicted, all right, let's look it up. The word addicted means physically and mentally dependent on a particular substance. Right? 
we are physically and mentally and spiritually dependent on this doctrine, you know, and that should be reflected in your effort. It should be reflected in you in your care for the doctrine, right? You have to be um the the, the, the elder brother from the um the, the, the London camp Rakaya Kwam was the first I saw bring out this um this word yo we got we, you have to be addicted to this truth yo and the the apostle uh, Tahar repeats it many times yo you have to be on fire you have to be addicted to this truth yo right so to take heed means to be given or addicted to to devote thought and effort to right so let's look let's reread knowing the things that we now know from the definitions therefore we are to give the more earnest meaning more abundantly more frequent heed to be addicted to the things which we have heard least at any time we should let them slip let's look up that word slip so that word slip is from the greek strong's g 3901 parareo parareo to glide by Least we be carried by or passed by, least the salvation which these things heard show us how to obtain slip away from us. A thing escapes me, slips my mind to flow by, i.e., which means in other words, figuratively, carelessly pass or let slip. Right? So if you're not careful, right, you will let these things slip by you. If you don't have enough care, right? There's a dynamite definition here in um one part part A. It says, least the salvation which these things heard show us how to obtain slip away from us. So if you don't constantly revisit the things that you have already heard, the things that uh, that show us how to obtain salvation, right? Which um we can um get just as a as a side note. I think it's um first Peter. There's two precepts I want to bring out. Um, is it First Peter? No, it's not First Peter. Second Peter. Right. It says um, Second Peter one, and I'll start from verse um, verse five. It says, "And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge." To knowledge temperance and to temperance patience and to patience godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness charity for if these things be in you and abound they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our lord yahweh shai mashayak right so verse 10 says wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if you do these things you shall never fail right another example is um I don't remember where this precept is, but I'll just do a search. Continue in the doctrine. All right, yeah, 1 Timothy 4 and verse, um, let me start at verse 14. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. All right, um, matter of fact, let me start from verse um, 13. It says, Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. What does it mean? To give attendance it's that same word that we looked up in hebrews chapter 2 and it means what it means to um to be given or addicted to that same word yo right so it says um give attendance to reading be addicted to reading to exhortation to doctrine neglect not the gift that is in thee which was given thee by prophecy with the laying of hands of the presbytery what does the word neglect mean Look that up. You know, sometimes we um we we unintentionally neglect this truth. You know, but we have to. Strong's G two seventy two, Amileo, Amileo. To be careless of, to be negligent, right? To make light of, neglect, be negligent. If you look up that word neglect, it means to fail to care for properly. Right? We have been given a cure for this truth, yo. As Paul said, you know, um, he's been given a cure for the church. Right? Uh, matter of fact, there's a precept that I'd like to bring out. Cure for the church. Um, let 
This is, I believe it's Titus. Aha. Titus 3 and verse 5. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of the Most High? So we have to take care of the church, which is the brotherhood and the doctrine. You know? Let's get back to um, Tito, um, Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 15. It says, Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and to the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing though, so, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So if we go back to the original that we've been reading, Hebrews 2. So we're doing these things. We're giving the most earnest heed to the things which we have heard. Lead us anytime we should let them slip. We're continuing in doctrine. It says, For if the word spoken by angels be steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience receive a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation which was at the first begun to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by him that heard him. We're going to wrap up with um, John 15 verse verse um, 4. It says, I abide in me, and I in you. And Yahweh is this truth, yo. Alright. Um, turn on. Right. Alright, the scriptures is, 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 is Yahweh Shai, yo. Um, right. St. John 5 and verse 39 Search the scriptures for in them you, you think you have eternal life And they are they which testify of me So Yah the book is written about Yahushai So Yahushai is this book yo So it says abide in me Abide in, in the doctrine yo And I in you are the doctrine in you right? Which is the Holy Spirit The Rakar Kodash The understanding of the, um, the, the, the precepts As a branch cannot bear fruit of itself Except you abide in the vine no more can ye abide ex uh, uh, can ye except ye abide in me meaning what meaning you're dependent upon this truth yo right you're addicted to this truth right so with that you know i hope this this lesson was um was edifying you know and provided some exhortation to the akim right with that again we said forgive me the spirit to this lesson shalom